Good morning, party people. We are finally replacing this chain that people have already made comments about. Uh, she's still functional. It's, uh, the links and such are definitely have seen better days, but um, it's worked. I just use this to commute and then offer sometimes and do all stuff. I also need to get a tire. I already ordered, um, I think they're Shinko something. Shinko SR428s. They're 100 eight dollars installed under ten bucks installed so my front unfortunately as you can see the back front is pretty much still brand new ish but it is what it is kind of uneven wear but we're just gonna put some regular sport tires on it but today we are doing the chain pretty simple um, I'm gonna try to do it without needing to take off this cover or the front cover uh, it's not a big deal, otherwise it would just be that allen key, and then this allen key. Uh, but you should be able to just take off the master link here. Chain comes apart, you attach the new chain to the old one, and then you just rotate the sprocket, and then feed the new chain in that way. Put the new master link on, grease it and all, all that good stuff, and then you'll be good. So, um, the... I got a chain breaker because I ordered this one from uh, Amazon for $15. Gotta love the Grum, good old cheap stuff. Saw good reviews on it, but um. Yeah, so. Rotational direction. See, it's funny because this direction, I believe, is the opposite of what's on there now. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Actually, it may be the right way. Yeah, clip facing down. Yeah. So. It's the right way, but uh, this is a non-o-ring, just pretty much a replacement chain, which I'll probably need to adjust a lot more. It was 15 bucks, so I figure why not. Um, this is gonna be my first time replacing a chain on a bike, so I figure if it's only 15 bucks and I mess it up somehow, then it's not a big deal. But this is a 106 link chain, just like the stock Grom. Um, so I bought Chain Breaker because they said sometimes these will, they just send them out. And um, sometimes they're 120, sometimes they're 110. So um, we got that. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off that clip on the master link. Um, in theory, this should not take very long at all. So let me get this all ready real quick. All right. So this position should be ideal. That's what she said. So link right there. Just the flathead screwdriver should be able to. I'm using this little pivot point. Sometimes I think actually that worked. Dang, that was very easy. So, link is off. I remember I saw a video, I think it was on Blockhead, it said a short side or a sharp side needs to be down uh, or facing against it. I'm not sure, but that is off. So, at this point, I would take this link off for the master. It is a little dirty and rusty. So this plate comes off. And then at this point, I would take this link off. So this is an O-ring chain. So like I said, this is a DID chain that does have the O-rings on it. I did not get a replacement O-ring chain, though I probably should. But I'll be getting that on the next chain replacement. I do these, the one that I bought, they say last about, um, I think it was like people were reporting it lasting about, yeah, see, that's not really movable. So you can see it barely even moving. So yeah, I had issues with it. Um, kind of not catching but pretty much it would slip and stuff like that so I knew it was about time anyway but I will connect this o-ring here with the new chain put it up on the rear stand put it in neutral and spin it all the way through so let me set that up real quick alrighty so stand is up um, obviously good time to make sure sprockets are good this one's good. I replaced that one not too long ago and I got a video on that. So, got my Milkmaid gloves on. Pretty much, this does come pre-oiled, which is a plus. So, see how 
easy this is to move and you see how that really isn't but um right now we're just going to try to find the end point of this chain which is there uh, it did say that it's a 104 link chain so I'm going to believe them 106 link, my bad like I said just got off work, zoned out, put that master link on, so what I'm going to do is just have it this way, put this right here, see if I can, hold on, let me, uh, That will give the chain onto the new um, and just pretty much lead it in there. So I will do this. So it's just going to keep feeding it. Make sure bike is in neutral. And as you keep going, try to do it in a smooth process. But So now we have all new chain. So new chain is right there. Let's see if you can see that. Try to look through the video. There we go. So new chain is right here. This chain is getting fed through. So just keep on slowly pulling it. Don't need to take anything off. This is the easiest way to kind of do it. And if you're lazy like myself, it is the best way. So I'm going to try to get this about here so that way it's set down take this link off here and now we are going to I'm gonna probably need to do this with two hands but I'll see if I need to adjust it to get it close this link here should sit right there and then the master link connects it so give me one second alrighty so as of right now we are here so it's connected, but obviously we're missing one link. I need to loosen the axle. Um, that way I can screw it. Um, well, not screw it. That way I can tighten it. Um, push it in. That way it reduces the slack. So just a 14 and a 19. Reduce the slack so this should go over here. That link should be able to reach there. And then I can then put on the master link. It already, like I said, already came greased, as you can see, so that's good. And then once that master link goes on, so they're just tidying it up, adjusting the slack, and calling it a day. So let me do that real quick. And magically, we're back. So um, push this in all the way. This link, stretch that out. We'll now need that one. So now we can put the master link in. Probably should do this before one second. Alrighty, so like I said, these came pre greased. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit extra on real quick. So I'm gonna put uh, just some chain grease on this just to be sure. It is already done, but I uh, might as well since I'm here. Alrighty, so grease on. Put it through the hole. Bada bing, bada boom. Maybe I can find the hole. This is not my first rodeo, but... So... I need it stretched a little bit, but... You guys can watch me struggle as well. It would probably be easy if I could see what I was doing, but... There we go. So comes through, uh, since so I already have grease on my hands, on the link, put that one in there, this is very difficult to do one handed, it's actually not very difficult, it's just more difficult than normal, uh, I don't believe that plate has any direction to it, so we're right here, and then this like I said on the picture, it's going to face the opposite direction. So, we can do this. This goes in here. 
Alright, so I need to work on uh, showing the camera what I'm doing. But this goes on here, so goes on here, angle that down. So it'll be in its rest position, will look like that. So master clip through the middle, and then this you can use to glove off. So you can either use pliers or I'm going to try and use a screwdriver again, just a little flathead. There we go. And that is on. So as you can see it's connected, everything there, that little gap has been closed. And we are now good to go. Obviously we have a lot of slack so we need to move the axle back. So. I'll adjust that right now, but at this point it's just uh, adjusting the axle to reduce slack as any other chain adjustment would be. So, um, that is just brand new chains on, so now it's just literally a chain adjustment. So, I'm going to do that real quick, uh, see if I can, yeah, so, now it's just adjusting slack. Obviously this will tighten more when you sit on it, that's what she said, but we're good to go, so. Hopefully this quick video helps somebody. Um, you don't need any special tools, literally just a screwdriver, flathead, which you could probably do without if you got uh, some strong nails. But um, yeah, that's how you adjust, or well, replace a chain and then adjust it on a ground. So that's it for today. Uh, we'll be getting my new tire soon, maybe do a fat burnout. My taillight actually went out. Um, so I ordered another one from Amazon. Just LEDs, I think it's the wiring. If I wiggle it, it'll come on and work. Sometimes it won't, but I drive at night. I'm also going to be doing a valve adjustment, or at least check it soon, so I'll probably do that shortly. So, hope this helps, and uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff.